sound. People say a man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and skin. Hi, my name's Dano, and today we're going to build a coal frame. Here are some uh, examples of structures that can be built very, very easily. They look kind of cool, don't they? I'm ready to start working on my coal frame now. I've got all the necessary tools put together to uh, do that operation. I'd like to go over them right now just so kind of know what you need to use. Uh, first and foremost, a pair of protective glasses to uh, keep your eyes safe. T-square for straight lines. Hammer. A pair of gloves to keep the splinters off your hands. A pencil to make your lines on your for your cuts. A tape measure, nails, of course the lumber, I'm using 2x4 seasoned wood, and last but not least, a trusty saw to make my cuts. Today I'll be cutting nine pieces of, of length of wood for the sides and four for the little supports. Two of the uh, supports will be one length and two will be a smaller length to allow the full unit to tilt at an angle so it catches the sun's rays. Um, the sides will be, uh, four of them will be 36 inches, one 33 inches, one 20, two 21 and a half inch, uh, and then the supports will be two 9 inch pieces and uh, two 13 inch pieces, and that will comprise our, our box, which will fit our sash that I found. This will be the top of the unit, and this is what's determining the dimensions of that box. This is uh, 23 by 36 inches and it will be a flat at an angle to allow sunlight to enter to uh, allow the plants to grow. Now to the magic of video, I've already got a box made here and this is what the finished product looks like. It's pretty heavy as you can probably see but uh, very easy to throw together. Uh, I did this within an hour, uh, no big deal. Hardest part was cutting the lumber. Well, I've dug my pit and uh, got it cleared out. I used a couple of just regular old hand tools here. A uh, little small crowbar to uh, sort of scrape the soil and this little spade to uh, dig it up, put the uh, deposit of the soil on the sides. As you can see, the box fits pretty well in there. Um, front end of this is about six inches deep, back end about eight inches deep and I'll be filling it with soil. But before I do that, I'm going to be installing one inch thick styrofoam panels along all the sides. Then I'll be putting in my uh, soil, potted soil, to bring this up to about uh, two or, or, I'm sorry, eight inches from the uh, top. Um, first, and first of all, I've got to get this thing painted uh, so it looks aesthetically uh, pleasing. So as you can so see, we'll we've got the that cold frame painted and I'm beginning to install the little they're half inch styrofoam panels they look like this you can get them at any hobby shop and they're just going to go in and line the sides and that will give me a total R value of about 13 uh, for the uh, structure that, that's counting the dirt the thermal uh, R, R factor of 5 for the wood and about 8 for the styrofoam so we'll just go ahead and do that. And this installation is real simple. I just roughly measure where I need to cut the uh, styrofoam. Make a quick cut. Break it like that. And then we'll go ahead and use this regular old tech nails to tack that up. Just that easy. After we finish this step, our next deal will be to get the uh, dirt put in there. You also notice, or you may or may not be able to notice, that I've got this line with a little bit of rame to kind of inhibit anything growing up from below, weeds that I don't want. And there you have a finished uh, coal frame. I still have to attach the hinges 
and uh, fill it, of course, with dirt. But uh, basically, she's all in place and ready to go. Total construction time, about three hours.